exponents can be a tricky subject, but I'm going to relate it to something that you should already have a, an understanding of, and that's multiplication. When you're asked to multiply something, a lot of people forget what it's actually telling you to do. Multiplication is a way for us to show, and what it represents is repeated addition. And let's see, if we had 5 times 3, what are you actually doing when you write 5 times 3? What are you asked to find? What's that the same as? Well, 5 is being added to itself 3 times. So in this case, we have 5 times 3. Multiplication represents repeated addition. So this says, take 5, add it to itself 3 times. 1, 2, 3. We get our answer to be 5 plus 5 plus 5. We know that that's 15. Exponents are similar in that they represent repetition, but we're not adding. We're not using addition. Exponents represent repeated multiplication. So when something has an exponent, I have to stop and think about how to spell multiplication. That can't be good. When something has a exponent, or an exponent, let's say 5 to the third power. This little number up here, notice we're using the same 5 and 3, but now 5 has an exponent of 3. This is going to tell you, this is telling you to repeat some operation involving 5. And the operation that you repeat is multiplication. This 3 tells you to multiply 5 times itself 3 times. So this will be equal to 5 times 5 times 5. We have repeated multiplication. How many times are we repeating it? 3 times. And we see that when you multiply that, you should get 125. Exponents represent repeated multiplication, just as multiplication represents repeated addition. Let's look at some of the properties of exponents. Let's look at these three rules when we're talking about exponents. First one we want to discuss is the product rule. That tells you when you have something, let's say, 3 to the third power times 3 to the fifth power. When you're multiplying two exponential expressions here, and they share the same base. This is 3 to the third power. 3 is the base. 3 is also the exponent. Times 3 to the, is the base. Exponent's 5. What you're asked to do here is just to simplify this. And we can simplify this. The general rule that we know is if you have, let's say, a to the n times a to the m, when you multiply exponential expressions that have the same base, you're multiplying. Notice this is an addition. You can add their exponents. This is the same thing. We can write this as a to the n plus m. And I probably should have started with the rule. This is the rule. When you multiply like bases, you can add their exponents. Now, why is that the case? Well, what do exp exponents represent? Exponents represent repeated multiplication. So let's just write this out real quick. 3 to the third power, we can write this expression as 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 to the fifth power, we can multiply this out. We can write this as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Notice these first three threes represents 3 to the third power. So right here in yellow, these first three represent 3 to the third power. And these second groups of 3, 3 to the fifth power, represents these threes. Well, notice when you put them together, really how many times are you multiplying 3? You're repeating this operation of multiplication with the same base, so we don't have to write it out 3 to the third times 3 to the fifth. We can write it as 3, and how many times are we, are we repeating? We're repeating it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In other words, you add however many times you're repeating it for the first expression, plus however many times you're repeating it to the, for the second expression. So this is 3 plus 5, which is 3 to the 8th power. There's a little, not necessarily a proof, but that's a little you know, simulation, if you will, of what we're doing when we're multiplying with common bases. This is the product rule. The quotient rule 
tells you, well, what happens if you had something, let's say, a to the n all over a to the m? Well, when you are dividing two expressions where they share the same base, you can subtract their exponents. And let's just do a quick explanation of that. If we had, let's say, 3 to the 5th power all over 3 to the 3rd power, well, let's write out what this means. We have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 total times being multiplied. Remember, just repeated multiplication. And we have 3 3's being multiplied down below. We know that we can kind of cancel these out, right? Here's a 3. can cancel that with a 3 in the denominator. And here's a 3 in the numerator. can cancel with a 3 in the denominator. We can do that 3 total times. And notice, what are we left with? Well, we're left with... 3 times 3 up top, we have 1 down below, which is just 3 squared. Right? And I'm going to leave it in the expo exponential form. We could multiply 3 to the 8th out. We could multiply 3 squared out, but I want to just illustrate what we're doing. 3 to the 5th divided by 3 to the 3rd, we can simplify to 3 squared. And what you're doing there, really what you're doing, is 3 to the 5th minus 3, right? You are dividing with the same base. You can subtract their exponents. That's a quicker way. That's how we get 3 squared. Finally, the last one here, power of a power. All right, power just means, represents an exponent. So if you had, let's say, a to the n, and you're raising that whole thing to the nth power, you have something with an exponent, and then that whole expression itself has its own exponent. Well, we can simplify this by writing it as a to the n times m. We want to multiply the exponents. Up top, when you're, mul you're multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. When you raise a power to a power, you're going to multiply these exponents. For example, if we had, let's say, 3 squared, that whole thing to the fourth power, Let's think about what this is telling us to do. When we have a, a, ba a, a base, starting with 3, and we're raising it to the uh, second power, and then this whole thing, 3 to the second power, is being raised to the fourth power, let's take this fourth power and eliminate it. Let's write this out. Remember, this just represents repeated multiplication. This is telling you to take 3 squared, multiply times itself four times. So this is... 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. That's without the power of 4. We're writing it out 3 squared multiplied times itself 4 times. And now we can look at this a couple different ways. We could write out each one of these as 3 times 3, 3 times 3, 3 times 3, and again 3 times 3, and then count how many 3's we have. Or we can use our new rule that we have up top here, the product rule. When you multiply with like bases, you want to add the exponents. And the reason why, the exponent is telling you how many times that number is being multiplied times itself. So we're going to have 2 here, 2 here, 2 here, and 2 here. We're going to add up all those 2's. We're multiplying with the same base, 3, 3, 3, 3. They all have the same base. So we can write this as 3 to the 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is the same as 3 to the 2 times 4. Why is it 2 times 4? Well, we know repeated addition is the same as multiplication. So we can see here that this is just 3 to the 8th power, and I'm going to leave it as 3 to the 8th power. Real quick, again... 3 squared is being multiplied times itself four times. So we know this is going to be written out four times. And once it's written out like this, you're going to have repeated addition for the exponents. Right? You know you're going to add the exponents. You're going to have repeated addition, which we know repeated addition for that same number is just going to turn into multiplication. So we'll have 3 to the 2 times 4.